today i am looking forward to discuss python debugger a module to help us debug python code i am going to use spider as my ide a powerful scientific environment written in python for python the most simplest debugging statement is a print statement but python debugger is a better one as we can set a breakpoint examine variable execute line by line step into function and also if required execute all the way to the end python debugger will help us figure out the issue when we do not get the expected result how do we use this python debugger very simple just two lines of code the first one is import pdb to include the python debugging module the second one is set trace and that will set the first breakpoint where we can use command line operators at pdb command prompt well what is this command line operators there are many command line operators and here are some of the most commonly used one we can say help with a topic if we need more information on that particular topic we can say n to execute the next line s to step into a function p to print the value of a particular variable and i can say b to show all the breakpoint and b with a number will set a breakpoint on a particular line number if i say l it will show me three lines above and three lines below the current line by that i can see what has been executed and what we are going to execute next if i say cl it will clear all the breakpoint and if i say cl with a number it will clear one particular breakpoint which we don't want and if i say c it will continue to the end or to the next breakpoint now that we know the basic rules of debugging why don't we look at this piece of code and use python debugger here i am importing two modules python debugging module and the math as i have used pi down the line i have two function triangle area circle area and where i am taking inputs and calculating the area and returning it back in this piece of code i am passing the base and the height value to the function triangle area and which returns me the area and if you notice i have chosen my value of base and height in such a way that all three will return the same area of 10 and then i am calling this pdb set trace that means this is going to be my first breakpoint where i can execute all my pdb commands let's go ahead and execute it now so i get the area 10 for all three and then i stop here now if i want to set my breakpoint at a particular line i can say b and say i set my first breakpoint at 57 well now i say b and i want to set my second breakpoint at 63 and now if i want to see all my breakpoint i just say b and it shows me 57 and 63 as my two breakpoint now if i want to see how this function behaves or what this breakpoint is i can say help and i can say b then it gives me detail of this breakpoint we can call this breakpoint with just b or with the break and i have so many options below now we learned few different command line let's look at those so we learned how to step in breakpoint clear and all that stuff so let's go ahead and execute our code so now when i say n it will execute one line and which is right next and when i do that now i am on this line so it executed r1 which is 1 now 
and it is ready to execute the next line of code and when I say once again n it says the area of circle is 3.14 and it is ready to execute next line of code and then I say once again n it executes one line and now if I say s it will step in so now it steps into this function circle area and now I can debug in this function by saying n and I'll go one step at a time now let's say I don't want to debug anymore I can say continue to the next breakpoint or continue to the end when I say this it comes out and it stops at 57 because we had set a breakpoint at 57 in the past and let's say I don't want to step into these anymore I can say continue and it will stop at the next breakpoint and it stopped at 63 and here I am finding the area of circle 2, circle 3 and I am doing the ratios and all that stuff which is uh, not required because it's mathematical but I want to show you how this debugging tool works so we were able to see that how we can use various uh, command line operators and we can learn about uh, the debugging say if you want to know all the commands available just say help and it will show you all the commands available in debugging okay so now if I want to fi finish my program I can just say n to execute this last line and if I execute this one more I finish my program and I'm able to come to the last line and with this I have finished my debugging and I thank you for watching this video and if you have any question please leave them in the comments below and uh, if you haven't subscribed to my channel before i would say please go ahead and subscribe if you like this channel thank you and have a nice day